Good morning, welcome to Ten Barn Farm. This morning we're gonna go catch Tia. She had her uh, full, she pulled out uh, not yesterday, day before. Yeah, and we're gonna bring her back here because we have some wolves and coyotes and dogs in the neighborhood, so we wanna keep a closer eye on them. So also we're running a little low on water up there. And so we're gonna take this stock tank up and uh, so they'll have, be able to have water. So come along with us. So He-Man here picks it up all by himself. It stinks out right there. It stinks? Mm -hmm. Wonder why. All right. Let's see how we can do this. All right, we picked it up, put it in there. I just don't want my come along crushed right there, okay? It shouldn't. It should never get crushed right there if you just set it down. Just push this thing over to the, like that. There we go. All right, lock this gate back up. So we're hooking onto the trailer right now and we're gonna go load some horses so we can go catch Tia. And uh, we're taking the water trough up there. Uh, we'll haul water up later this week because there's enough water for a couple days left or more. So anyways, we're doing good this morning. And we'll be back to work on the house after we get them, those uh, Tia and her, her full back. So they're kind of leaning towards the name Aspen, but uh, we'll see. Good. So we'll see what we, what name has ended up with this little girl. Um, it's kind of a surprise. I didn't realize she was that far along. And uh, I should have pressed the, the vet. <clears throat> we were, went, took him, took her to get her uh, preg checked, and he says, "Yep, she's pregnant. She's she's a lot further along than the others." I said, "Yeah, she's a month further than than um, sugar," and he just kind of he didn't say anything after that. I should have should have asked him because he probably would have been able to tell me that she was a lot further than a month. So, anyways. All right, we're ready to go. We got the horse, two horses loaded. Not a problem. These guys load really good. And you guys ready? So we anticipate going up and uh, catching the horses and uh, uh, we'll probably have to catch one or two before we can catch uh, Tia. She's not as easy to catch when she's out and about. Johnny's all set with his spurs, man. What do you think, big guy? You ready? Yeah. You're missing your hat. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do this. So guys, the idea of going up here to catch Tia, we're gonna work her very, very slow. So last night, mom and I went up there and mom just kind of headed her off and we just kind of sat the video a little bit and she calmed down and we were able to walk, you know, right kind of to her. So. The idea is just to be there, not to chase her or, or anything like that. I don't want that little that little girl running too much, you know what I mean? And so we're gonna uh, just kind of surround her and slowly, slowly move in. You know what I mean? Yeah. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. And uh, hopefully, hopefully it's no issue. Hopefully it just, uh, you know, happens. We're gonna go drop off the water right now to the goats and then head up, okay? Yeah. Just put the tailgate down. Z, you hold up that tank over there. Untie it, please. Johnny. All right. Kids get to stargazing at the goats instead of working. Huh. Yeah. Come on, guys. Here. All right. So that's about 14 gallons we bring every couple days. And these are all the goats. <laughs> and mouse so it's our neighbor's pasture that they'll keep eating down 
Hopefully it's what they want. All right, load back up. Boys are gonna grab the gate there. That big gate's kind of rough. It's pretty tight. So. Just go. So you're in down, Z. Okay, let's clear out the rocks area where it goes. It goes right here. We've done it before. Make sure it's cleared. Good. It'll go right here. It's been going right here, huh? All right. Set her down. Put the drain out the front. You guys, help him out. Grab a hold of it. There you go. Up against the fence, all the way. That way. A little more. There's a big rock right here. All right, that's perfect then. So we're going to close the gate behind us, just in case the horses don't cooperate. That. They start running all over or whatever. We don't want that to happen, but uh, in case it does, uh, we don't want them getting out. Let's go. You guys unload those horses up. Start chumming them. Come here, girl. That's who we're after right there. Come here, Bobo. Z, Curtis, get halters and lead ropes. Let's go. Come here, guys. Come here, Bobo. Got some treats. Here you go. Here you go, girl. Come on, lady. Come on, buddy. Come here. Come put a rope around it. <clears throat> Sugar! Wrap it around it, please. Come on, buddy. Come on, girl. Let's go. So this is going off the hill. The road's a little rough. Steeper. It's pretty down here. This little valley.
All right, we set up kind of a little makeshift trap here to bring these horses around. Just kind of slowly work them this way. There you go. That'll work. Just slow, bring them all. Talk to them, guys. There you go. Oh, that's a good girl. Oh, that's a good girl. That's a good girl. Just slow. Just hold still. Hold still there. Hold still. Don't move around, guys. Move around. Cut off sugar. Just slow. Just real slow, guys. Hey, um, don't let her past you. Don't, just try to get them to work down towards the tr truck because we got a good fence there. Need to put a rope on a uh, halo here. Uh, Z, walk up and see if you can just catch Tia. If she, she'll let you just pet her and... Ooh. Come here, girl. Curtis, come in behind me to so keep these guys from going. Yeah, that's a good girl. Come up to her. Or let me just. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Yeah, this baby is, huh? Got a big head. <laughs> yep, those little ones have big heads. Good girl. That's a good girl, Tia. Talk to her, honey. Here, hook this on now. There we go. Yep. All right, grab those halters and stuff there. Yeah. All right. That's because she's. We worked her a little bit. And she's doing good. Big old girl. Come put the halter on. Sugar. That baby looks kind of like a palomino, but like, um, palomino has wider veins. Go slow. Go around her. Just pet her first. Put her around her neck. There we go. There you go. I want sugar and her caught, and then they'll. Cause that way they're being handled, you know. No, lady's got a year before we ride her. You know, I'm not real worried. She lets us do this stuff. You know what I mean? She's a big old girl, though. What lady is, huh? Halo's looking pretty good, isn't she? For an old lady. How you doing, Tia? There we go everybody's help probably to over here so to get uh we'll turn loose the mules and then let them have the hay okay let's work our way over there guys so that went pretty well it was nice to have the horses down here we didn't really need the trap but anyways it was good caught her without too much pressure which was nice and uh so we'll be able to take her home now and watch over her, protect her a little bit, so. That baby's so darn cute. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> she's like, I want some food, mamas. Oh, imagine she tries the nurse on the halo. I won't give her anything but She's got a little... She's dark on her legs, and then she has one spot right here. Go around and get that little, or Philly. Is this side gate open? No. Mm -hmm. Just go.
There we go. Oh. Hey, baby. Come on, Tia. Go let him out, Johnny. Yeah. All right. Tie her up up there mm -hmm. to one side so she doesn't uh, go all over the place, okay? There you go, big mama. <laughs> This is going to be one unique looking horse. I don't know what it's going to be like. The coloration. You know what I mean? Go ahead and close that up. So. Good girl, Kia. That's your baby right there. Yep, you're doing good, girl. You're doing good. You're doing good. All right, so those other horses didn't want to see Tia leave, so we had to run them off back down to where the other, where Gus and Halo were. Um, Sugar, very athletic. I've seen her clear a four foot barbed wire fence easy, just, just in stride going to try to get back to like uh, Tia or, or uh, Lady, whatever one we had. So hopefully she doesn't come back up here and follow us up the hill because she's capable of clearing these fences if she's wanting to get back with them. So this will be good therapy for her to get bound up, hooked up with another group of horses instead of Tia. And then we're going to load these two horses up and head home. Yeah. Duchess thinks he's tough. Huh? Yesterday when I was back, when I was leading Dutch off of polka dot, polka dot kept trying to uh, turn around and bite him. Oh, yeah? In the nose, and then he'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> Just set it around right there. And we'll load up. Do we need to take off our bits? Yeah, put a halter on him. and. I got him, Johnny. You get a halter. Oh, oh buddy. Take the saddle off, Curtis. Thanks. Where did that go? Just grab that one right there. Hey, put something around him. We don't want this guy loose. Curtis, you just hang on to him there. Your job is to hang on to him. No. The, right here. There you go. Help her out, son. Thank you. Good job, guys. Hey, get a where's the lead rope for him? I was just using these. For well, we're gonna need to put him in there and yeah, want a good lead rope. He'll, he'll be fine, son. Johnny, remember, he's going back. Hey. Hurry, hurry. There we go. Hey, boys. Here, take care of him. All right, a little tight. Huh? Huh, buddy? You're doing good. A little tight, sorry. All right, guys. Everything tied up. Well, a little excitement here and there. Dutch trying to pull back and uh, get out of there, but uh, it's a tight fit. They made it. Everybody did well. What do you guys all think? The baby's cute. The what? Yeah. The baby's cute. Yeah. What do you think? Good. Yeah. Curtis. I like the baby. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for coming along with us. If you like this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Ten Bard Farm, over and out.